Hi, I'm Rachel Schwartz with USA Hockey here with Team USA defender Monique Lamru. Monique, thanks for being here with us. We're thanks just gonna, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to talk to you a little bit today about, you know, you've just switched to from forward to defense, mm -hmm. um, playing on the national team. Tell me a little bit about that and what it's been like in that transition. Uh, well, after Sochi, uh, we had some time off and kind of was thinking about my future with hockey and everything, and I... I grew, up, I grew up playing defense and uh, up until high school, and then through high school and college, I probably played more D than I did forward, and I originally made the national team as a defenseman when Joss and I were 17, and then from then on, I was playing forward after the first tournament, and so I'm actually much more comfortable at D, and so when I was uh, kind of contemplating what I wanted to do, I emailed Reagan Carey and asked if I could play D at the next camp just so they could kind of give a look and then go from there and see what the staff thought about it. The transition uh, I thought or I think has gone pretty smoothly and probably the biggest difference uh, is the conditioning I do um, when I'm doing if I'm doing steady state stuff or my interval stuff uh, it'll it change to me I change the length of what I'm doing and I watch my heart I'm very specific with uh, my heart rate when I'm doing conditioning stuff and mm -hmm. so that's probably been the biggest change uh, to my training. It's kind of like oh I'm back with you again. Like, <laughs> to me it's it's more kind of com more, I think more maybe more of a comfort factor for mm -hmm. me but I, I played the I, mean, I guess more than half of well over half of my hockey career so it's just it's but it's fun being able to do both. So. Uh, Monique's pretty versatile. I don't think too many people can jump uh, into an elite level on a national team and play both forward and D, and I think she's successful at both. And being able to play with her uh, on a forward line has always been fun for us because it's just so easy to play with each other. But half her college career, she was also playing D, and for the most part, the coaches tried to keep her behind me uh, on shifts. and. I mean, we have that same chemistry, even though she's playing D and she jumps up uh, in the second wave. And so it's it's fun to play with her regardless of what position she's playing. So when did you kind of decide that this transition, you wanted to make this transition since, you, you know, you've been playing forward on the national team? Uh, probably around April, May time. Uh, I had some conversations with Jocelyn, uh, my college coaches, my dad, who knows a lot about hockey and a couple of my brothers. And so uh, just from kind of going back and forth, the pros and cons of it, uh, uh, we just felt it was it would be a good fit, and I think uh, I can add something that we might not necessarily have on our, or in the past had on in our D four, and so I think if I can add something new, I, it would be a benefit to the team. I think it's challenging for the coaches because I think she's obviously been a top forward for the U S team, you know, for the last four or five years now, and seeing that she can play D at this level and do really well and bring bring an offensive side that I think is really rare. I think in the game, you, you know, she can do both. And so, um, I mean, I think it's tough for the coaches to decide where they want to utilize her. Just knowing the game, I think you just get out there and in some situations you just have to play regardless of what position it is and you just have to know what plays to make. And I think growing up in a hockey family and watching so much hockey, I think that's... Uh, really why she's able to do what she can. Just moving into Four Nations, is there anything mm -hmm. that, you know, you and the defense are specifically focusing on to, you know, work on? Uh, I wouldn't say it's specifically the decor, but it's, we're starting up a new quad now, and mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot of new faces on this roster, same with a lot of the other, with all the other rosters going into this, this tournament, and so I think it's more of just getting to know the staff, what they want as far as your systems, and what they want from specifically from your position and that that type of area. I wouldn't say it's specifically D, but it's it's a lot of new faces and a lot of uh, adjusting and it's new team, new chemistry and all that stuff. Yeah, great. Well, I think that's all we've got, so thanks. Thanks for having me.